Here we are. So now that I've figured out which way the lights are, obviously the wiring is completely backwards. The red should be the live, the black should be the negative. And I just found that out by using one of these six volt little power supplies that you can get off eBay. And I was just jamming whatever negative would be in there live. So that's how I figured that out. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this now and I'm going to remove the white cable. So I'm just left with the live and the negative. So what I find easier, if you can just come in from the front of the tab there, get in with your finger, pull the tab up at the back, and it just slides out, as you can see there. Like that. Right, now that we've only got the live and negative, what I'm going to do is I'll pull these wires back a little bit, add some heat shrink over these, and then we're going to wire them to the live and negative of the core. Right, I've got the heat shrink on, but just a little reminder, this is how it's going to go. So the live, the actual live, is going to go to the black one, and your negative is going to go to what you would presume would be the red live and just this yellow one here because that's a negative they're both negative so that's how it's going to go this is so hard when you've got a thumb that hasn't got any feeling there we are very crudely twisted together but what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little bit of flux to these and just solder them There we go, that simple guys. Red, yellow, they're both negatives. The black is the live. Hook it up to an old servo wire. Just remove the date I lead. And uh, yeah, there you go. As you can see on the receiver, positive, negative, positive, negative. So it doesn't matter where we plug it in, channel three will go for. Hook a battery up, control, switch it on. There we go guys, that's how easy it is. So just using an old servo lead or get some off eBay or whatever you prefer. But it is just the red and the yellow is the negative. The black is the live. Like I said, I just found that out using one of these six volt battery power supplies that you get from eBay. But um, yeah, guys, don't be afraid to do it anyways, guys. If your ESC combo breaks on you and you've had to change everything out for a brushless system, that's how you get your lights back on. So before I go, I just want to give a massive shout out to Paul Phillips. Thanks for the donation. Everything helps. It goes into buying 9 volt, 6 volt power supplies. Stuff so I can do tests like this and it buys the connectors or I'm just salvaging stuff like you've seen there from a servo. But anyways, I say a massive shout out to you, dude. Thanks a lot. To anybody else who appreciates this kind of thing, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And as always, catch you guys in the next one.